Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to learn how to read Excel file in Android Studio from asset folder. To do to do that, uh, first we have to create a, a Android project. Let's start uh, creating an Android project. And I am giving the name of the Android project is Reading Excel file. Put next, next, and I am uh, doing it in empty activity. Activity finish. Here is my Android Studio and this project and uh, activity main XML. This is my activity main XML. And let's design something in activity main uh, XML. Let's just work with a simple uh, Android button and, uh, and, and a text view. And here is my Android button. Just drag it here. And this is my button. And in text. Uh, this is my new button ID button okay and in text view just okay I'll keep it uh, hello world and here give Android ID okay text view here is okay I'm not uh, going to change it uh, anything because uh, we are uh, what we want to learn is uh, to how to you know, take input uh, from Excel file so just put change the name button button Okay, here's my Android uh, XML and just ordinary, but okay. Let's create an uh, display method uh, public void display. It's, it, it will take a string value. value. Here, text view x text text view find view id and what we take view id uh, text view this is the id of this text view this hello world view let's put it here dot set text well and this thing will call from this uh, button uh, let's create a button method public void public void order view view Let's change the on click of this button on click order. Okay. Here now we have to do a few things and I'm going to show how to do that. So let's not worry about it. At first let's create a Excel file new Microsoft Word Excel worksheet and name it okay and put some value like uh, my name is Humayun Kabir Tora and my mother name is Mushfiku Rahman Mushfiku Rahman Rahman Talib Let's save it and uh, we have to uh, keep in mind that our Android uh, and this uh, Android Studio is not, uh, is not capable of fitting XLS X file. We have to save it in Excel 97 2003 workbook. Uh, that means dot .xls file. I I'm uh, I'm telling that this is uh, dot .xls file, not dot .xls X file. Okay, this is the dot .x ls file and save it 
okay after saving this this is the this is my file okay and this, uh, and this file i'm going to delete okay now we need uh, to read excel file we need a, a library called uh, jxl and this is uh, jxl and this is the link i i'll give uh, sourceforce.net projects dot slash uh, jxl api slash file and i'm going to give this uh, link into my description so you don't have, don't have to worry about and this is the uh, jxl api just download it this is uh, the latest version okay and i'm going to zip download the zip file and download will start in five seconds okay and this is our uh, downloading i'm down I, I have downloaded it so i can so okay let's just download and and this is my jxl api let's unzip it let's unzip it okay. unzip jxl and here after the, uh, you will find this folder jxl.jar just copy it and open copy means uh, just you can copy this or you can you can just press uh, ctrl c copy and android studio here in java java res layout okay project project app here this lib files you will find it uh, in, uh, after going in project uh, the uh, the project we are working reading excel file and app and then you will find this lib uh, file just paste it there and just you don't have to worry about it just press ok and this is the jxlr this is the library we have imported and uh, after doing this just right click uh, on the jxl file and click add as library press ok it will take some time in gradle building but just to wait until the gradle building finish uh, i hope it finish and now here the part come uh, we have to create a we have to get an asset folder because uh, we, we, uh, the excel file we are going to read uh, fr from asset folder and this is uh, in this uh, version uh, 5.1.5 version there is no asset folder to so just go in main here uh, just click in source and extend main and after uh, in main folder just right click and new and resource directory so it's not in resource directory uh, it's a uh, directory and here the, give the name of this folder asset assets okay this okay and this is the asset folder and uh, if you are uh, using older version of uh, Android Studio there may be an excel file and uh, uh, there sure maybe excel file and you, you have to delete that excel file and here my drop xls just control press control c or uh, on a right click copy whatever you want so after copying it paste in asset folder just right click and press paste and if you want to rename this folder you can but i'm going to the same okay this is my dot xls folder now here's the programming part coming first we have to uh, we have to we have to use asset manager to uh, get this asset um, this, um, uh, first i'm going to put a try class block Time catch exception e. Sorry. Okay, let's write this asset manager dot oh sorry space am dot get. 
assets input stream is am dot open and this this here we have to give the string name of this folder and uh, if you if you don't uh, don't want to write this like torup here i put this torup dot xls we have to give this extension uh, remain uh, you must have to give this ex extension otherwise it it won't open okay after this input stream i am and here workbook coming work book and work for is a jxl remember we have add some uh, libraries uh, jxl and now i'm using this workbook uh, workbook uh, library okay workbook be equal to workbook git workbook as I'm passing this here object here. I'm passing this object here. Okay. Sheet equal s equal to wb dot get sheet zero. and int row i'm assuming that we all know what is row in matrix or in a uh, uh, excel file uh, if you don't know you just you can just uh, google it row is dot get row in column c all s dot get columns and here the for loop for integer integer i is equal to 0 i is less than rho sorry i plus plus for and c is equal to 0 c is less than call C plus plus cell J cell Z is equal to S dot get cell comma I and here this string what will uh, will uh, this uh, this string will, will be passed in uh, the display method string x string double x z dot get contents let's discuss declare this string of in the loop And here xx xx plus the string. Okay. Now if we pass if you if we pass call display method and pass this double x, I hope it will work. Sorry, I put it in before running it just um, i want to give an extra 
this here. Okay. This will uh, try and run. I hope everything is okay. Uh, okay. Here is my button, and if I click uh, one commit or more, if we go to one talib, and if if we just open it. And this is file. One go with the one go with the Mushpur Ramantari, Mushpur Ramantari. And thanks for watching. And, and I am sorry, uh, I am not good at uh, speaking, and uh, speaking English is very hard to me. So uh, I'm, I'm, I again apologize, apologize for my speaking and my voice. Mm, thank you for watching. Hopefully, it will uh, uh, work and it will uh, benefit you.